Snatch. Shouldn't have used that same cinematic scene. Get your Snatch out. I need a yank. Overland, Overland. Ah, welcome to another episode of Overland and Overland. If you haven't figured it out yet, this episode is all about water. How many types of water are there? There is water, there is frozen water, which is also known as ice. Here's some of the things you can do in water. You can have a fire in the water. You can obviously cook your meals in the water. <clears throat> Maybe have a jump in the water off of your aluminum flat deck. Don't have a cooler? No problem. Put the river beer cooler. Throw those bad boys right in the water. If you don't have a floaty with you because you were too much in a hurry to get out of the city, just use your spare tire. Any 35 inch spare tire on a 15 inch rim will do. You didn't think I was gonna drive in the river, did you? Oh, hey. You should never drive your vehicles in any river system or creek or lake, especially if it's fish bearing, which most of these places are. The reason being, you're not only hurting the ecosystem, you're hurting the fish. Every drop of oil that goes in that water can potentially harm a fish. That's why you can get severely fined for being caught in a river system with your vehicle. Would you overland me? I'd overland me hard. You can always leak all the fluids that you think aren't leaking, especially diff fluid, gear oil, is the same thing as diff fluid. You might wonder how can these fluids affect fish if the fluids are lighter than water and float on top of the water. It's because fish jump out of the water to feed. Bet you didn't know that, did you, you city slicker? That was a hard steer break maneuver. My all-time favorite thing to do in the water, though, is CTTing. Don't know what CTTing is? You're gonna have to find out. Finding a great place to sleep at night and when you're out camping in the woods is always key. That's why whenever I find water, I always sleep in my CTT. The only downside is... It can be dangerous! drama in the morning to wake you up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> many fish live in this creek. How many fish do you might ask? 5,000. Right now we're on Renfrew Creek, which is fish bearing, which has a hatchery just up the way that does stuff. That has fish. It has fish. It releases fish. It Over 5,000 returning coho salmon a year. 50 returning adult salmon in 1979. Today that number has gone up to 5,000. You might wonder how I know that. I read a sign. That's killing two birds with one stone. If you've never canoed before, this is how you do it. You just kind of like put the water away from the paddle by lapping it. Would you overland me? I'd overland me hard. <laughs> Just because they're called banana slugs, you shouldn't eat them. You'll have a bad time. <laughs>